Good morning, I'm Janitor Bob. Well, I'm not really a janitor, but I play one on TV. For several years, I've had the privilege to host the Kids Crossing television program, which airs throughout South Dakota and areas of bordering states. We tell Bible stories and talk about how we can apply it to our daily lives. But today, I want to introduce you to the cast members tell how they each contribute a different insight to the topic of the day. I also want to show you the new studio where we put the program together. When the program opens, I introduce the topic of the day by illustrating something I am doing in the church. I usually tell one Bible verse of the day for kids to uh, memorize and, and then I introduce Miss Lisa. Lisa always brings one of her friends with her. It's usually Jemima, Shiloh, or Lily. Janitor Dodd, why did you mention me last? Everyone knows I am the star of the show. You should have said my name first. Lily, Bob was just mentioning everyone who usually appears on the program. But I am the star. And the most important, you both need more help than what's available. And it is true that you are important to the program, but so are Shiloh and Jemima. We all tell the kids about Jesus and how much he loves us. There are times when you are the best helper, but sometimes a rabbit like Shiloh or a dinosaur like Jemima can be better helpers. We all work together to share our experiences in order to help teach the lesson for the day. I'm sorry if I offended you, Lily. I, I certainly didn't intend that to happen. You make a great addition to the program. Well, of course I do. I forgive you, Janitor Bob. Now you go along and show everyone the rest of the studio. I will practice signing autographs. Well, thanks, Lily. Now the next part of the program features the church librarian, Miss Susan. Miss Susan, please tell us about the library. As you know, the library is filled with books. Sometimes I will read a book. Other times I may find a way to illustrate a story using a flannel graph or other visual aids. There might be times when someone sends me a letter to answer on the program. As a librarian, I am trained to help people, and that is what I try to do for the kids at Kids Crossing. I just try to give a little different twist to the topic of the day. Thank you, Susan. And I always look forward to your portion of the program. Now a question. What is one person every church should have? A pastor. Kids Crossing also has a pastor, and that's just what we call him, pastor. You might want to imagine that he has the same name as your own pastor. We know that all pastors love kids, and that's why each week our pastor takes a few minutes to add his insight to the topic we're learning about. That's right, Bob. The Bible teaches us many lessons. What I try to do is show how the topic of the day can apply to all kids as they go to school, spend time with their friends, or even deal with their parents and brothers and sisters. I give some insights as to how Jesus would want them to react in different situations. But mostly, I do what all pastors do. Tell how God's love is shown in our Savior Jesus, who takes away our sin and gives eternal life. Well, thank you, Pastor, for all you do with Kids Crossing Program. Recently, we added a new segment to Kids Crossing. Nurse Stacy is the Kids Crossing Parish Nurse. It is important that we all live healthy lifestyles, so we contacted a real nurse to show you how and why everyone should take care of themselves. Bob, in Corinthians, the Apostle Paul writes, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? Being a nurse, I see some kids who would rather play video games instead of going outdoors and being active. I am also aware of the seduction of junk food and how it contributes to bad eating habits. My mission is to show kids that good choices are not only fun, but it's a way of serving God. 
I believe a person's spiritual, mental, and physical health are all related and essential for living effectively for God. Well, I'm, I'm happy you're a part of Kids Crossing. You're a great addition to the program. Now you have met the cast of Kids Crossing in the place where we put the program together. For more than 12 years now, we have brought the good news of Jesus Christ to the viewers of this area. This would not have been possible without the continued support of the LCMS community and our viewers. Main Street Living Sunday has become a very important part of building awareness and sustaining support. To those who have supported us over the years, we say a giant thank you and ask for your continued support. To others, we ask that you consider becoming a monthly contributor to this mission. We want to be here encouraging others in their walk with Jesus for many years to come. Thank you. Yeah.